Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Um, today I wanted to go over my planner setup for 2023. So I'm just gonna grab the old one, for, I mean for last year. This is the planner I used for 2022. It's a planner from Target. And um, I've used this setup, I believe for the last three years, maybe two to three years. It worked really well for me, and which is why I kept using this type of planner from Target. Um, but this year, I decided that I was going to go um, with a loose paper option, meaning uh, I was deciding either between this, you know, Filofax style um, or the disc style that they have. Um, out there as well so if you're interested in purchasing a file fax um, I'll give you kind of a little overview of what this one came with so this one is an a5 size it's from their collection called garden and the cost is $86.99 which is a little pricey but it's really good quality and um, I plan on using it for more than one year so um, colors are beautiful. It's a snap um, type of planner, which is my favorite. And um, so let's get into it. The inside is also nice and colorful. It comes with these card pockets, a pocket here. And then in the back, it comes with two other pockets as well. And then you have two pen holders. Um, the, uh, the inserts here are the standard inserts that come with this planner, so I didn't have to purchase it separately. It already uh, came with it. Um, so the one of two reasons why I chose this style um, for this year is one, I want to be able to add my own pages to it. So um, I did my January budget, in, which I showed in the last video, and I printed out, it's the Budget Mom template, the regular 8.5 by 11, and I just told my printer to print it in the A5 size, so I then cut the extra paper, and I plan on hole punching it and inserting it in here. So that's one of the reasons why I went with this style, so that I could add more, you know, budget trackers, savings, trackers, sinking funds, all of that in here as I please. So I'm gonna put this in the back for now. Uh, the second reason is because um, typically, you know, I don't know what everyone else does at the end of the year with their planners, but it really, sometimes um, I have information or notes that I don't wanna throw away, but I also don't, necessarily just want to keep because over the, um, over the years we've really collected a lot of notebooks and such so it's kind of getting um, not out of control but we're trying to live a more minimalist life so with this option I just feel like it gives us a better chance to just scan it in any pages that I needed to and save it to the cloud um, without having to keep all this um, you know stored in the storage box and such so those are the two main reasons um, and so if you look compared this is the regular white paper this version came with kind of a yellow tonish paper um, which doesn't bother me honestly like I just I needed to just write my to-do list that's the type of planner i am i just do lists and so i'm gonna go to this current week that's coming up um you can see it's a vertical time planner i guess like hourly planner um from eight to eight and then a section for notes and then you have saturday and sunday which are not hourly time uh, stamped but um they're smaller boxes which I'm not really using the times anyways. I really just need the lines to do my to-do list. So 
I do a to-do list for every day. Um, that's how I work. And once I finish it, I just highlight it. And that's, you know, that brings me joy. <laughs> Hi um, highlighting my, the things that I've done. Um, so, uh, what else? Yeah, I use this for, you know, personal, my work, anything and everything in my life. Um, and now I'm going to add and include anything regarding my budgets, our budgets, our sinking funds, etc. So that's that. It comes with six tabs. Um, so the way I divided it was by quarter because that's kind of how I organize things in my brain. So we have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. Quarter five is... Um, note pages colored note pages that came with the planner and this is for anything and everything regarding um my responsibilities in the church community and then top six is really uh to-do list graph paper the extra pages blanks that come with it and i just plan on using all of this for notes it's always nice to have an area to take notes um so that's that. And so that's the overview of this file fax. Um, it is a nice file fax. So, oh, and it comes with this bookmark if you didn't already see that. But, oh, one thing is that I did purchase this back last year in about like around July, August, because um, I was using it for something different at the time. And it did come with extra. 2022 pages that I didn't need but um, I would hate to throw this away um, I don't want to be wasteful so I'm trying to figure out what I can reuse this or how I can reuse these pages um, so if you have any ideas or suggestions please leave them down below so I will have this linked down if you're interested and that was just a quick overview of the planner I plan on using for this year so until my next video, thank you for watching. Bye now.